Oh, we are live at work. That's that, that's great. Oh, um, this is another exciting time to discuss money, to discuss um, investment, to discuss opportunity, to discuss sales, to address issues that concerns your well-being, to discuss issues that that affect your life, your economy, your politics, your 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 cash flow, and your finances. This is the Money Game. We are live every Thursday evening discussing um, ideas of money and how you can prosper in any economy. I'm here with my friend, my partner. Um, my name is Judy Kalu and my partner here, Tade Cash. Tade Cash. Tade Cash. So we're going to be talking about how you can survive the how you can survive the economy. But today we're going to be specifically talking about uh, we've been talking something about uh, recently on uh, social media. We're we'll talking about the um, the hustle. Mm. First, they also talking about ambition. Talking about, um, I also like some of the things that you posted yesterday. Talking about how people should be able to thrive in any in any state. I know I saw some people were asking you how, mm. how, 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 how. Yeah. 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 Maybe today we're going to be discussing the how today. So um, we've been having serious conversation with people, and um, we have been obsessed yeah. showing people how, showing people why they shouldn't go be average. They should just go and hustle and, and hustle. For, for stuff. How do one prosper in any economy, Tali? Yeah, anyone prospers in any economy by first understanding that economy, the economy is not your enemy, mm. the economy the economy is not against you, yeah. the economy is just there. Mm. You are the one that we have to build your life on the economy. Mm. So a lot of time, a lot of people look at the economy and begin to look at the economy in an host, with an host type perspective. Mm. Begin to see that, oh, this economy is against me. Mm. Just the way people say time is against them. Mm. A lot of people also go around saying that the economy is against them. The truth of the matter, truth, is that the economy is there before they arrive. Mm. The economy has always been there. Mm. They are the ones that have to know how to take advantage of the economy. Mm. And that is the most important thing. Yeah. So the economy is your friend if you want it so. Mm. The economy will also be your enemy if you want it so. so a lot of people have this host type perspective to the economy and say, oh, the economy is against me. There's nothing I can do. Mm -hmm. You know, measuring all sorts of things that can't work for them. So that is the point that a lot of people need to look into. The economy is not against you. The economy has been in existence before you came. Yeah. You met the economy. <laughs> so why are you fighting the economy? <laughs> the economy is not your problem. Your problem is yourself. Mm. What are the things that I need to be? I need to be able to align myself with the economy, mm. not the economy aligning itself with me. Mm. So because I have met the economy, I came to I met the economy in existence. Yeah. What will I do to thrive in this economy? Mm. A lot of people are not focusing on this on the solution. Rather, they are trying to change the economy, mm. and the economy is constant. Whereas they are all they all they ought to do is to change their own life. Mm. Some people want to do a a lot of things but they want to prosper in an economy but they are not they are not thinking that, that they, are, they are the ones that needs to change mm. a lot of people come we blame the government every day i'm not saying that the government aren't uh, are, are doing well i'm not saying that the government need to uh, um, um, should not um, talk about should not uh, be involved in policy change i'm not saying the government should not do a lot of things a lot of people in government we know that they are also crooks you know a lot of people we also know that they are stealing from a lot of people are stealing from government yeah. but one of the things that you need to be able to focus on or majorly is that those things will not change mm. those things will not change what should change is your hustle mm. what should change is your own focus what you change is your own ambition. You need to be hungry. You need to be good, able to go for something that is so special, and that is you. Now, because you cannot um, change the economy per se, you can only change your attitude and the results you get from the economy. Yeah. And what you, the result you get from the economy is what is paramount to you. So what results are you trying to get on a daily basis? The result you are trying to get will determine the kind of life you live on a daily basis. Yeah. Your attitude towards your time, That's your attitude towards your cash flow, your yeah. attitude towards revenue generation, yeah. your attitude is what you are going to be changing on a daily basis. The economy has always been there. Mm. You cannot change the economy, you can only change your attitude. Mm. You can only change your lifestyle. You can only change your hustle. You can only change your mentality towards life and all of that. So what that is what you need to be focusing on a daily basis. That, that, that's very fantastic, too. Like you are, you are simply saying that now you need to own your own economy. Yeah. You know, I heard you, you put something on social media in a couple of days, and that is very, very educating. You need to own your own income. You need to own your own economy. You need to, you see, 
they, there is nothing, the GDP is not what's going to pay your school children's school fees. Not at all. The GDP is not what's going to pay your house rent. Yeah. The GDP is not what's going to put food on your table. Mm -hmm. One thing that will put, do all of this thing is that you must own your own economy. Yeah. And you see, the moment someone has mastered how to own his own economy, the moment you are mastery over your own personal economy, then life becomes sweet, life becomes more interesting. Mm -hmm. So true, in owning an individual personal economy, what do you think are the steps that people need to start thinking? No but one step, no one step, start thinking like an immigrant. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this thing has been going on for the past few years. We've been talking about, you know, start thinking like an immigrant. What, yeah. the, what is the characteristic of an immigrant? Now, if I am an immigrant, I would I would take my hustle very strong. Mm -hmm. I'll be motivated internally. You were discussing something with them earlier of air with me. So how people should be able to relate to life. People should be ambitious. Two people should go for something. If you want to hire somebody, for example, what are, what are the kind of characters you want to see that person develop? If you don't have a hungry spirit, you cannot maximize opportunities. That's true. A lot of people want to take advantage of the opportunities in any economy, but they're not hungry enough. And so opportunity is looking for people that are hungry. People who take opportunities in life, whether in recession or maybe in time of boom, they are the people who take a book who are hungry enough. Mm -hmm. So your hunger determines, we only define the level of opportunity they're able to take. A lot of people are not hungry enough. That is why you find out that certain people are taking a prospect in an economy mm -hmm. where there's recession because they're hungry to take advantage of those opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people are saying, oh, there's no job in town. But first of all, I look at the level of your hunger. Is you, are you hungry enough? To be able to go, to be able to go out and step out on a daily basis. A lot of people are not hungry enough. Yeah. A lot of people are not doing the things that they need to do. Yeah. Some people wake up, still wake up by 9 a.m. expecting to deliver success in their lives. Wow. Some people are still expecting that, okay, you know what, success is, success does not just come to you. Yeah. Success is what you attract. Yeah. And you attract success by going for it. That's a lot right. of people are just dreaming. They are just maybe in, just living in an illusion that I want paradise in my life. But they are not committed to ensuring that they live in paradise. They are not committed to it. People who are hungry go for the things that they want. But some people are not ready to go for anything. Some people want cash in their life, but they are not ready to make in, get involved in sales. Yeah. Some people want to prosper. They are not ready to generate, do something that will generate revenue. A lot of people say, if you ask somebody, what kind of job do you want? You say, I want to work as an accountant, I want to work as a financial advisor, mm -hmm. I want to work as this one, but you now ask, okay, I have a sales job on ground, are you ready to take on that sales job? Somebody said, no, I'm not ready to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, how will some kind of individual prosper in an economy where there's recession? What you need in your life is revenue. Mm -hmm. And you can go for revenue by getting yourself involved in the things that other people will not want to get themselves involved. Mm -hmm. Doing the things that other people will not commit themselves doing. That is what that is what the hungry spirit is all about. Mm -hmm. That is what the hustle is all about. Mm -hmm. I um then earlier today you were telling me, oh, I'm going for a certain kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Some people think that the success is going to fall on their laps. Yeah. They think that okay, you know what? After if I just do just do, some people are not they're just. They're not even deliberate in their attempt to make prosperity work on their behalf. Mm. That is what the hospital spirit is all about. That's what just thinking like an immigrant is all about. Wow, that's true. Mm. What you're simply saying is that a lot of people, they're not looking at their life as an immigrant. Yes. That means if an immigrant steps into a country, yeah. he knows that living just like a citizen mm. is like his attributes. Yeah. He has to go for it. Mm. He has to wake up earlier than every other person. Yeah. He has to be on the road. Sometimes he may need to pack his car so that he can drive for the body, yeah. so they can get to where they go. So, <laughs> you know, so an immigrant thinks that way. Yeah. An immigrant is going for it every single day. Yeah. An immigrant has eliminated excuses in his dictionary. Yes. An immigrant is saying that no is next to me. Mm. No does not mean never to me. Mm. So an immigrant is ready to go. Yeah. Is ready to go. Every moment an immigrant is going. Now this is the point. If an immigrant mentality is going to make a lot of people. This is what is bothering me. Mm. A lot of people are living in the country of okay, mm. where everything is okay. Mm. Ask them, how is busy? It's it is okay. okay. How is your funeral? It's, it's okay. okay. How is your children? It's okay. okay. Everything seems to be okay for them. Mm. Now, but you can never live the life, you can never control the economy until you go beyond okay. Mm. How can people go beyond okay trip? In your own experience and everyday life, you know, doing the deals, going out there, hearing different notes. How can people go beyond okay? There are two options in life. 
it is either you want more or you want less. Mm. A lot of people want more, but they are not ready to go for more. Mm -hmm. So that they prefer to go for the less. Wow. Now you are when well, on a daily basis you are either going for the less or you are going for the more. Mm -hmm. You cannot even remain the same because even a dead man cannot remain the same. That's true. Because a body begins to discompose. That means his body becomes lesser yeah. than what it was. So what people what the option that we have on a daily basis is either more income or less income. Mm -hmm. Either more more uh, cash flow or less cash flow. Mm -hmm. So which one are you actually going for on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. So the action that you take on a daily basis will determine the kind of result that defines you on a, on a regular basis. So some people do not want to do the things that will generate more income for them. More people do not, some people do not want to do the things that will generate more cash flow for them. They are not ready to, they are not committing themselves to those things that will generate more results. So you see somebody like that is very rich and you are wondering well, how did he come about becoming rich? You are wondering maybe he did juju, he did a, uh, he carried maybe calabash and put on the bed, by the basket and you, and you are wondering why he's possible. Wow, I'm looking for calabash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and some people think that he's a freak of love or wow. a freak of nature. Mm. Or probably maybe Cinderella worked in their favor. Wow. But it's not like that. If you want uh -huh. more, you go for more. Mm. If you want more, you will not give, you will not give your eyes to sleep. Mm. If you want more, you will not rest on your arms. If you want more income, you will not just be okay with nine to five. Mm. You will not just be okay with the daily, the uh, the daily things that you are doing on a regular basis. You will not be okay. You will be hungry, and it will show in the activities that you pick up on a daily basis. Yeah. A lot of people are okay with the things that are going on. They are okay with paying their children's school fees and paying the house rent when it comes. And they, because they, they put themselves on the path of becoming an average individual, mm. they call those kind of people the masses. Mm. But the rest of the other people are called the rich. Mm. It's either you want to, you choose to, if you are okay with less, mm. you will be called the masses. Mm. If you are okay with more, you will be called the rich. Mm. So there's a tiny gap between the rich and the, and the poor. It is just doing that extra bit mm. that you want to do. So it's either you are okay with more or you are okay with less. Which one are you okay with? That's, that's a myth. That's, that's, that's something that. It keeps me awake every single day. What are you okay with? Mm. It's an important way we come to that understanding that life is too short mm. for us to just live life to be okay. Yeah. You know, your life will end up either as a warning or as an example. Yes. You must choose one. Yes. I want to be a warning of mediocrity or you want to be an example of an exceptional life. Yeah. It is your choice. Yeah. No one can choose it for you. Yes. No one can choose that for you. So the economy problem is not meant to be seated on, mm. the economy problem is meant to be built on. Yes. So you have to build your life on the economy problem. Mm. Because it's a tell me, in the history of mankind, if you really know about history mm. and you know about the economy of the world, tell me when there have never been an economy problem. Mm. There have always been an economy problem. It's not going to fade away. It's not going to fade away. It's part of life. We are in the era of problems. Therefore, problems are God's divine kindness to make humanity prosperous. So, if you want prosperity, you must embrace problem. Bring it on! That yes. is the, you be your mentality. Yes, yes. Bring it on! Yes. Bring it on! Bring it on! What will make a Nigeria travel out of the country to another country and then the guy that seems not to be making an headway in his present nation begin to try? Yeah, you can say all sorts of things. The infrastructures are there. And all of those policies are there. We are not denying yeah. that. But let me tell you, in spite of what is going on and where you are presently, you must do something. Mm. Stop giving excuses. Build on the economy problem. Make your life count. That is what you need to do. You need to be hungry. How hungry are you? You see, the, the amazing book of all time, the Bible, we say that to an hungry man, everything is sweet. That means you can build your life being hungry. That problem that people are running away from, you can begin to take advantage of that problem and begin to build your wealth. Yeah. Look at it, for instance. We put it on social media and say that you can quit wealth without a job. Mm -hmm. And people have been asking questions how? A very simple way. If you develop a skill of selling, you don't need to have a job to create wealth. That is the truth. You don't need to have a job, you don't need to have a title. Money does not respect respect titles. Yes, yes, Money yes. respects honor. Yes. If you want it, you go for it. Mm -hmm. Money as a nature of God, it has no favor right. It's for people that are hungry for it and willing to do whatever it takes legally and morally that we get it. Ooh, some folks will be saying, you guys are so ambitious. You talk about money all the time. You talk about money yesterday, this morning, every time. But this is a problem. Money is not everything, but money affects everything. Yes. Money is going to affect your life. Mm. 
either you like it or not. You see, whoever tells you not to be financially stable and economically free, the person who wants to make you is our own slave. Mm. Because in life, you need to be economically free to be able to say what is in your mind yeah. without being apologetic. Yeah. It doesn't mean you are rude, but you means that you can live your life freely. That is why we are promoting this. Go for what you want. Go for what you want. It's very, very important. The economy is not against you. Yeah. It has always been there. Yes. Use the economy to your own advantage. Mm. Change it. What kind of thinking do people have as we begin to round up today's live broadcast? What kind of thinking do you think people should have that will take them and will give them a quantum leap in moving their life forward? Change. Hashtag stop giving up on money. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag stop giving up on money. Wow. A lot of people don't like the issue of money. I have somebody who started who sent me a mail and was actually fighting me fighting me in the mail in the conversation that we even have even on that Facebook chat the person was actually fighting me why am I talking so much about money why am I so it's as if am I serving money or am I actually serving God but the truth is that <laughs> you need to be able to figure out your money life you need to be able to figure out your money life I'm talking about money because I'm, I'm not ashamed of money in my life. Mm. I'm not ashamed to talk about what money can do in my life. Mm. A lot of people are ashamed of what money can do in their life. That's why they are not prospering. Mm. Don't give up on money. Don't give up on your own economy. Don't give up on your own on, yes. on, on your own economy. Yes. Yes. Go That's stop right. fighting against money. Money is not against you. That's what That's you should word. focus on and is the mentality. I need to hustle to get money. I need to be able to do the right thing to get money. And I need to get my I hustle right mm. because some people are not hustling the right way. Mm. Some people just wake up in the morning and they're all after the money. Mm. But there's a difference between hustling for money and actually attracting money. Mm. So what you want, what I what we are appealing to you to do is that you should be able to hustle the right way. Mm. Hustle to attract money into your life. And one of the ways to attract money into your life is to be focused on income generation. Mm. It's to be focused on the, doing the things that other people will not do. Com be committed to the things that other people will not be committed. That's true. That is why, that's what makes you, that's what makes you different from the average person on the street. Yeah. The average person on the street is called masses. What you need to be able to do is to be able to separate yourself from the average person on the street. And by committing yourself to the skill that everybody will know, no other person will not want to acquire, mm. which is the selling skill, yeah. which is the revenue skill. Now replace sales with revenue and your economy life will change. Mm. Replace sales with revenue and your financial life will change. Mm. A lot of people are ashamed of doing what others are doing. Mm. And when you see other ambitious people prospering, mm. you're like, why are they prospering? They're envious of that. They're in the same they, economy. They're envious, they're of, envious of them. They're like, you're criticizing yeah, them. Yeah. You're going on social media. You're trying to do a, you know, put a legal matter yeah, on them. Yeah. But the truth is, I was in a friend's uh, office a couple of days ago and I saw a very massive a wonderful digital company, yeah. one of the best in, in the state. And I saw these guys and they, they put on the, on the front of their office sales room. Mm. And I said to them, I said, you have to change this thing from a sales room to an income room. Yeah. Because this is an income room. Mm. This is where it all happens. And you know, and like we have said today, you see, what we want you to do is get yourself educated. Yeah. Get yourself educated. You know, you, you want to make money, begin to ask questions. You can ask through the question. You can ask me questions. How do I do this thing? What do I you need to invest in yourself so that you can become a money magnet? It's very, very important. Yeah. You don't need to be shy to make money. You need to get it. You need to realize that a lot of things depend on it. Yeah. How will your life be? If you don't need to worry about money again mm -hmm. for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. where will you travel to? Wonderful. What language will you learn? Yeah. You know, who will you have? Now we've been talking about the Benway State and something that is happening, you know, in that in that part of the world. Yeah. In the past in the past couple of days yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. And you know, we've been talking about it. The, the hurricane in Harvey in, in, in Houston, in America. But this is true. Imagine you can you can afford to help a lot of people in McCordy right now. Mm -hmm. You can afford because you have the money, mm -hmm. not because you are begging for it, yeah. because you have made the money. Because one of the things that money will do for you is to help you to create influence. Yes. Help a lot of people. Yeah. We're not talking about being carried away with money. We're talking about changing your life and the life of people around you. Yeah. And that is what we're saying. Go for it today. Become a money collector in a legal yeah. and moral way. Yeah. And everything about your life will change.
I would like you to um, connect with us. For those of you, I would appreciate those who have been connecting with us yeah. in the past few days and the past few weeks. I would like you to connect with us. If you have any question, you can go to any of our, maybe send us a direct message on our Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Yeah. We'll be willing to answer your question. Yes. And I've been I've been receiving so much, so much, so many mail, and I know Tadi has also been receiving yeah, so definitely. many mails too. So let us keep the mail coming. Next week we're going to be showing you something very, very interesting. That's true. We're going to be live. We're going to be. We're going to be. We're going to be having a wonderful. A wonder, uh, wonderful we're going to be having lunch somewhere. Yeah, we're going to. Town. We're going to be having lunch somewhere in the town. You know where we're going to show you how to become a, a money in our money mastermind, mm -hmm. and we're going to be showing you what you can do in this economy to create your own wealth in few days, yeah. legally, morally. Our mentor will always say to us that the hardest thing to do in life is to steal. Yeah. That the easiest thing to do in life is to manifest money. Yeah. Money is your friend. Yeah. Money loves you. Yeah. Money has a personality. You have to treat money as a living entity. Yeah. I want to show you. Just hang on with us next week and you will be blown away. So we are going to be doing that. We are going to be discussing that next week. I'm going to be showing you how you can be part of the Millionaire Mastermind. Yeah. Well, that is coming up very soon. So I would like you, if you want to be part of it, maybe because you don't want, you don't want to uh, be posted on all of that, you can just uh, send us a mess, yeah. send us messages. I'm willing to connect with you. That's true. Thank you for staying with us. This platform has been packaged by Tadi and I yeah. just to be able to share information with you. Till we come your way again, keep stay rich and free. Keep collecting money. Keep collecting money. Keep collecting.